and welcome back to my channel so yes guys we're back again with another video but first before i show you the contents of this video don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below on what videos you want me to upload next because guys i'm really running out of ideas so if you have suggestions just comment down below and right now okay let's start with this video so for today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys or you're gonna encounter the very first at-home experiment that we did recently which is <laughs> wine making yes guys it is possible you can actually brew your own wine at home but before you did a little disclaimer, please do your research and do it at your own risk. I am able to do this because we were given strict and very, very strict instructions about what we should do and how to properly do it, which I can actually share with you by providing a site, which you can see at the description box below. But first, please, please do your own research before you decide to start your own winemaking at home.
So if you're wondering, what? That's it? That's not, no, that's just the first fermentation or the initial process and we're gonna wait two to three days then we're gonna open it once again and then start with the second fermentation process which is actually gonna take two to three months. So that's gonna be the real fermentation of the wine. So the first one that we did or the following procedures that we did are just the initial fermentation process so we're just preparing my strawberries for the initial fermentation process and able to be a perfect wine and able for it to taste like wine so this is the finished product and we're gonna wait two to three days and we're gonna know if i did it properly or if i missed some parts that made it wrong so yeah cross fingers Hi guys, I'm back and welcome again to the second part of our wine fermentation process. So right now what we're gonna do is process once again the wine mixture that we did for the initial fermentation which we waited for two days. Actually right now it's after two days from the last clip that you saw. So if you made the wine on a Monday night, you can actually process it for second fermentation on Wednesday night. So today is Wednesday night so we're gonna process it for a second time and able to start it for the real fermentation process which is gonna really turn it into a wine and we're gonna wait two to three months from then on and then taste the wine so right now i don't know if it's safe to drink because we don't have instructions if it's already safe to taste or even drink i think it's not yet really safe to drink or even taste because i have yet to test the alcohol level of the wine mixture that I did for the initial fermentation and sadly I still don't have my hydrometer it's still in the process of being shipped to my country and I ordered one from Shopee so yeah what we're gonna do is save a little amount of my wine mixture after doing the process for the second fermentation so that when the hydrometer already arrived here I'm gonna test the alcohol level of my wine mixture and able to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking here and let's proceed. Hi, so right now we're in the process of doing the second fermentation process of our wine and if you ever wonder how much sugar is present in your wine this is the amount look at that it's a total of 240 grams and girl it's almost like a one four plastic of sugar so yeah 
sorry it's a bit messy because I'm just preparing my ingredients so yeah let's heat it up and then continue with the process of the second fermentation So what we're gonna do is transfer this one into our 1.5 liter bottle wherein the hole was poked and able to insert this leveling straw. So for this one, we're gonna need our funnel and our measuring cup. Set this aside. And then get your 1.5 liter of plastic bottle and then put the funnel like that. So you can see it just like that. Did you enjoy it guys? That was very very tiring and at the same time fun actually and of course this is the very first at home experience ever since the pandemic started so it's really really uh, mind-blowing that I can actually do it at home so if ever you decide to do it, just please remember do your own research first and do it at your own risk. And make sure that before you taste the wine, make sure it is really viable to drink. Because if ever you did some miscomputations, it might contain a really high alcohol level which might not be safe to drink. So yeah, that's it. That's just a reminder. But yes, it is possible. You can do this at home. The ingredients it was actually for just a one liter wine as I've stated all throughout the video so yeah I think if ever because we're still gonna wait two to three months to make sure that it really contains 12% alcohol which is what was required of us to make for that one liter of wine so yeah I'm very excited to taste my wine after two to three months and I've been actually checking the progress it's been making for the past few days. 
so yeah that's the end of my video i hope you like this one and don't forget to like and subscribe on to this channel this is the end of my video have a merry good day bye